In this video, we will show you how to evaluate the quality of the stream encoded into AVC format using such tools as deblocking, quantizer, adaptive quantizer, prediction, and motion estimation. We will use Elecard Stream Eye Studio to perform the analysis. Deblock filtering is designed to reduce blocking artifacts which occur on borders of these non-crossing blocks. In general, deblock filtering improves the visual quality of the video frames and improves effectiveness of P and B frame compression. There are two ways to identify if the block filtering is used. Check the headers panel, slice header, deblocking filter control present flag. Or use graphical identification by clicking the difference tool on the toolbar and selecting compare decoded unfiltered. The encoder may use quantizers varying from 1 to 51 during the encoding process. With the value of quantizer equal to 51, the compression is maximum, while the quality is the lowest. Acceptable quality is achieved in case the value of quantizer varies from 22 to 30. The encoder might also use a variable quantizer within the frame, the so-called adaptive quantization. Adaptive block quantization allows increasing efficiency of compression by skipping less important information on some frame areas. StreamEye makes it possible to see minimum, maximum, average values of quantizer for the whole stream. They are displayed on the stream panel, as well as minimum, maximum values for a frame displayed on the pictures panel. The average value is available in bar chart hint, and you can also display it in the graphics view bar chart quantizers. Besides, you may also see quantizer distribution within the frame. For doing so, activate extended quant or quant text on the toolbar. H264 AVC standard defines 10 methods of spatial microblock prediction. The encoder must select the most effective mode of spatial block prediction. To reduce complexity of compression algorithm calculation, the encoder can skip some of the available prediction modes, and this fact may greatly affect the compression effectiveness. Using prediction pane and selecting picture and stream tabs, you may see the statistics for using modes of spatial prediction for an individual frame in absolute number and for the whole video stream in percentage ratio. This information helps assess usage of modes of spatial prediction. Statistics picture pred type intra pane displays statistics for using modes of spatial prediction for an individual frame in percentage ratio. One of the key factors affecting compression efficiency of PB frames is the algorithm and size of the motion search area, which allows to remove superfluous frame data. Follow these steps to find out which motion search area was used by your encoder. Position to any PB frame, open the statistics pane and select picture, pred type enter and by area. This window also provides data related to the maximum values of motion vectors in a video sequence. The values are given with quarter pixel accuracy, which means that in order to define the actual vector's length, you should divide a given value by 4. You can see some room for compression improvement after assessment of prediction success. Let's see the difference between two frames, the reference I-frame and the current P-frame. Toolbar, select M button, select decoded value. Position to the next P frame and select the difference tool on the toolbar. Select the temperature value as a comparison metric. Then select decoded and memory as comparing frames. There is a black color over the major portion of the frame, which means very little difference between these areas. Frame regions colored blue and brighter red and green contain significant differences which have to be encoded into the stream without effective interframe prediction and increase the bitrate of the encoded video. If you look at the decoded view of the area and its prediction, you may see if motion in a frame has been predicted efficiently or not. This difference will be encoded in the video stream to restore the frame. In our next video, we will show you how to evaluate the encoding quality for AVC format using such tools and metrics as EPSNR, Profile, percentage ratio of IPB frame sizes, beta location, reference frames, and subpixel prediction. We understand that sometimes you may need help. Elecard has a support team as well as a business team that can help structure a solution for you. We're able to help address all your video analysis needs from bitstream to container analysis.